So uh, being a, a conservative, there's mm -hmm. often a lot of friends, family, just outside influences mm -hmm. that are very negative. Like you're not, you're not supposed to be a conservative. Mm -hmm. um, the assumption is that you're a young woman, you're definitely a liberal. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. and, and if you're not, there's problems and there's pushback. Have you experienced that? Absolutely. From personal standpoints, I mean, I loved going to the so-called feminist conferences where they talked about business women and women in business and I loved it. It was so much fun, but then I felt like I was hated because I had different values than everyone. And so personally, like when I started and even coming out with, okay, well, we don't fund Planned Parenthood. Like we are, we love life. We're pro-life. Um, and we are going to call you a woman. I mean, that gets a lot of hate. And so I've had friends who are like, okay, we're not going to buy from you anymore because you believe these things and I have to remove you from my network of people. Basic, right? Okay, that's fine, whatever. And then we've gotten a lot of pushback on our stickers. We sell a sticker that says girls only. So we're the girls only period brand. That's what we're calling it. And so people get really upset about it, but they don't even buy from us. So why? Like, you don't need to be upset. You just don't have to buy from us. So we have a lot of a lot of pushback with that. We have a hate page on Instagram. Okay. And there's like a petition too for us to boycott our products. But hey, we're doing something right in the world if we're getting boycotted, right? You have such a confident demeanor about this. There's a lot of people out there that no, they yeah, can't. They can. That's not something that they want to go through. I mean, where do you find that sort of uh, strength? What sort of advice do you have for other young women who are getting these pushbacks? And, and ha there is a tendency mm -hmm. to just say, okay, uh, never mind. Like, I just want to get along to go along. Like, right. Sure. Right. Whatever you want to, oh, whatever yeah. you want to believe in, I got gotcha. you. Oh, for sure. Well, I'm definitely a peacemaker at heart and I want to, I love people and like, I care about you, whether your beliefs are different than mine. I don't care. I do love you and I care for you. Um, but at the same point, like, I have to, if I die tomorrow, I have to stand before the Lord and say, I did everything that I could and I stood for truth. And so I felt like if I wasn't being strong in my stances um, and strong in my faith and the things that I believe in, what's the point? What's the point, right? So I wanted to come out strong and, um, and I think women, other women should come out strong against these things. There's more of us than people think, um, than what the media portrays, right? So there's more women like us and just coming out strong from the beginning well, then you're not going to lose those people in the, you know, at the end or like halfway through. You're going to have a strong base of people who support you, who believe in you, who are going to buy your products. They're not just going to boycott you once they find out you have a sticker that says girls only.